So I'm here at CERN. Now CERN stands for the Commission Européenne pour la Recherche Nucléaire. So basically it's the European Commission for Nuclear Research and it's based here in Geneva, Switzerland. And the reason why I'm here is because I'm um, actually being selected by um, ANSTO and also by CERN to um, represent Australia um, at the high school uh, teacher international program here at CERN. So I'm actually part of uh, 45 different teachers from around the world who are here on a two-week program at CERN. Now, um, I guess uh, what I want to do in this short video is I want to leave you with some thoughts about um, my first few days here. I've been here for a few days and um, I guess maybe leave some things to consider as well. So, um, well the first thing is that CERN is really a place uh, of scientific endeavour. So it's a research place and there's thousands of people who work here, uh, over 10,000 people work here, of which maybe three, 4,000 are uh, scientists. And in essence, uh, they're here to um, really study the, the nature of the universe and the nature of matter. And uh, for some of you, you may know a little bit about CERN that you know, it's where the, there's the LHC or the Large Hadron Collider, um, where the Higgs boson was um, uh, discovered. Um, but it's really just a research facility to understand really the world that we live in. And it's a really exciting place to be here. This is really the, the nerdiest place to be in for a physicist and for a physics teacher. Um, and I've been so impressed by the fact that there's such a diversity com or diverse community here wanting to know uh, really about what our world's like and what our universe is like. Um, so it's been really exciting in that regard um, and to have this amazing opportunity. Um, and so that comes with a tinge of sadness though because when I talk to people about CERN outside my educational community there's often scratching heads there's not a lot of a lot of people know a lot about CERN and I did a, a YouTube search uh, not so long ago where I looked up CERN and I basically was doing some sort of preliminary research before coming here and I discovered that 8 out of 10 videos were about conspiracy theories to do with CERN. So we had, um, oh, you know, CERN's going to be the place where you're going to be uh, opening the portals to another dimension and let demonic activity come out. Or they're going to create black holes that are going to swallow up our universe in an instant. Um, and there are other conspiracy theorists. And it really saddened me because really this is a place where people want to learn about our universe. They basically have this human innate desire of understanding our world and you know our place in the cosmos. And yet there are people who clearly think CERN isn't that. Uh, and I think I attribute it to the fact that um, there is a lack of scientific literacy out there. Um, often we are scared of things that we are uh, afraid of because we don't understand them and we don't know about them. And often people with conspiracy theory leanings often have very poor scientific literacy. I mean, you'd only need to take some time to look at the anti-vax movement, uh, climate change, um, you know, <laughs> flat earth ideas, um, really the scientific literacy is really poor and I guess one of my goals with my channel is to increase scientific literacy in a small place and I'm really excited about the opportunity over here and I guess I want to leave with you this idea on that particular point um, and I'll just need to open the gate here, give me a second, is that if you're good at science, then I encourage you to excommunicate that. I think it's really important that we have a community that is scientifically literate because we have to make decisions in our world based on good scientific practice. I guess also if you are not strong in science, that's okay. You know, science isn't for everyone. But I guess what I think is important is that you don't fall into the trap of being scared of it. 
Um, often science is seen elitist by those who don't fully understand science because they don't understand it. Um, and so they often think that this scientific community is sort of nefarious and have, has evil intent, when in actual fact it's just a really a desire to understand the world. And I think all of us are like that, aren't we? Um, so I guess that's the first point in terms of CERN is a place of learning, CERN is a place of understanding, and, and that's a good thing. I mean, it was set up after World War II as a, as a research place with one of the key charters is that at no point is any of the technologies that come out of this place to be used for military uses. Um, and in fact, a lot of life-saving technologies have come out of here. So if you've had a PET scan, that technology came out of here. The internet came out of here. Um, uh, uh, you know, the touch screens came out of here. So, you know, this is a place of learning and it has good implications and uh, um, uh, applications to our world. The um, second thing I want to talk about is um, that I'm really privilege to be part of a small community of 44 other teachers from around the world who are actually like-minded. You know, I've been really excited about learning, you know, uh, teachers who've come from very diverse backgrounds. So, you know, I've met a teacher who's, you know, teaching Alexandria in Egypt. Um, uh, we have teachers from the Philippines. We have teachers from Canada and the USA, uh, South Africa. Um, Costa Rica, Poland, um, Estonia, a real diverse community and what I really feel privileged is, is to be part of a small group of like-minded individuals who despite the fact that we have different ethnicities, different belief systems, different um, creeds, backgrounds, we all are passionate about science. We all are pa passionate about communicating that science to our students and to our wider community. And that's really exciting. I feel really privileged by that. And I think what I want to leave with you is that science communication is really important. That we need to have great educators who are passionate about their subject and are about passionate about communicating that information that raises the scientific literacy and the wonder of the universe that we live in. Um, and to be a small part of that uh, is yeah, a, a real honour and I'm sort of humbled by my, even my, the uh, many conversations I've already had in the last few days with uh, some really great educators who are now becoming my friends. So, um, yes, CERN is a fantastic place. And I'm hoping to share more stuff from here. I'm hoping to produce videos that will examine the physics that occurs here at CERN. And certainly my head's already being filled with lots of uh, knowledge that I'd like to be able to communicate. Um, so please subscribe to my channel and uh, follow along. Um, but uh, I, my hope is also to maybe produce a few more uh, thought videos, maybe interview a few fellow educators, a few teachers, and have them share their views. But uh, in any case, as I stand outside the Dome of Innovation, out of CERN back in my background here, um, I hope um, that uh, you know you pick up that the importance of science communication, the importance of understanding our universe is good, and to be open-minded about learning, uh, even if it's difficult at times. In any case, um, bye for now and uh, 